This Buzzle article will share with you an autobiography essay sample that you can use as a model, before you begin writing one for your college application or otherwise. It is a very basic and easy to understand one, so you won't have much trouble. In the course of applying to various colleges for your chosen career path, you are bound to face a lot of hurdles. An autobiographical essay need not be one of those hurdles. An autobiographical essay is something that is generally expected of students when they apply to colleges or other institutes for further studies. It is a first-person account of the candidate's life and may or may not be on a particular theme. Relax, it's not as difficult as it seems. You can read this Buzzle article and get an idea of what to include and how to formulate it. Sample of an autobiography essay. In this section, we have for you an autobiography essay which can be tweaked as per anyone's requirements. The one mentioned below is for a college application to a medical college. Your needs may be different. So you can customize it as per your life and write an impressive one. Until then, you can refer to this one. It has been written in very simple language and gives an account of the life of a candidate who comes from a broken family, but still hopes to do great things in life and help those in need. Read it to get an idea of what to write in yours. Remember, this is just the product of the imagination of the writer and need not be the case with every candidate who applies to medical school. A mind's journey what made me different from my siblings as I was growing up was that I preferred to have a carefree and very often, quite reckless attitude towards life. While my elder sister and my little brother did their homework at home, I was out chasing the stray dogs and getting myself all messed up, with the neighborhood kids. My father always said I was a waste of life, but my mother always defended me saying I would make the whole family proud one day. When you're nine, you don't really think about making the family proud. All I could think of was when I'd get to go out and play again. But suddenly, in the summer of single quote 96, I came home to a ruse shock. My father had decided to leave us and settle down with another woman, who he claimed he loved. My mother refused to hand us over to him and he looked visibly relieved. You see, by now, I was well past my always out in the sun phase. I had begun to look at people and begun observing their facial expressions and begun to formulate stories and situations that they were in. More often than not, I was right about what they were thinking as well. Then on this day, my mother was not only heartbroken that her husband had decided to leave her, she was absolutely terrified at the prospect of having to raise three kids alone. All I could do, at the tender age of 13 was give my mother a shoulder to cry on. I did all the housework that I could manage along with my siblings, before mum got home from work. Then we all sat and had dinner together and recounted our day's activities. Talking, I realized then, has a very therapeutic effect on people. Whether it's about the tiniest incident or a life-changing one, you actually feel better when you talk to someone about it. But even greater than talking is the art of active listening. When you actively listen to someone, you give them their full attention and there's no better feeling than having someone giving you their undivided attention. I tried it out with many people, friends, relatives, even random strangers sometimes. I realized that I had the ability to make people feel better by just listening and talking to them. It got me interested in the psychology of the human mind. I was 16 by this time and at an important threshold in my life. Just waiting to graduate from high school and looking forward to college. Having already read up a lot about the human mind and psychology, I had already decided that a psychologist is what I wanted to grow up to be. I worked two jobs to accumulate enough money to apply at your prestigious medical school. One of those jobs was as an assistant to a practicing psychologist. Having assisted and accompanied him to various seminars, conferences, etc., I can confidently say that I have a good idea of the daily life and the work that a psychologist is expected to do. And this will definitely be an advantage for me if I do get selected for the course at your institute. It is with great hope and admiration for the noble profession of helping disturbed individuals that I seek admission at your institute. If you find me a worthy candidate, 
for which you can go through my resume attached herewith, stating my educational qualifications, and my job responsibilities, I request you to contact me at the numbers mentioned in my resume. Well, this was just a rudimentary attempt as an autobiography essay. You can include any life incidents that you think will prove to be favorable to you and your application to the Institute. Just make sure it's true and highlights your strengths. In order to learn how to write an autobiography you can click the aforementioned article. It will give you some important tips that might come in handy. Good luck!